Okay, so this is how to convert H SIP to H two three three. So I've got a working SIP phone, got dial tone, it's registered to session manager and CM's feature server. But I want to be a H three two three phone now. So if you can go to the menu, go into um, let me show you. Gotta check the configuration first. So there's my HTTP server. The S server is not defined. Group is zero. So I'm on 6.8.1. So if you go into admin, you gotta put in your password. 27238. And if you go into that, if you config, let's see, it's got. Well, it's got an SMTP server in there. Interesting. So there is an NTP server defined. Sorry, I can't hold the phone and type at the same time. So I want to change this to H323. So what I usually do, I've already done this a few times, is just go into SIG without resetting the default or clearing. You'll see the SIP stuff is in there. You don't need to see that. Singling. Go to Singling at default. So it's, it's right now it's running SIP software. So it SIP is the default. I want it to go with H323. So if I hit save, it'll say this will reboot when you exit. So you hit back and it should reboot. And it's going to go out to the HTTP server, find the software 6.8, push it to the phone. And then um, I've noticed that it erases the old configuration. Uh, I have had this phone working as an H223 phone, but it seems to lose all that when I go from SIP to H223. But if I go from H223 to SIP, it remembers the SIP information. So this is, I was running SIP 6.8.1 on a J179. I'll show you the vintage in a minute. I think this is a vintage five or four phone. The earlier phones uh, come on 6.7, the new phones come on 6.8. And you can't downgrade them to 6.7, the new phones. You can see the boot screen is completely different. It's black and white compared to the red with H323. There you go. 
updating software. See on the old J series, on the, on the sorry, the 9600 series, you'll actually see the HTTP GET and the 200 OK when it reaches the server. I didn't see that on this. That's one big difference. So now we're converting to H323. I'm going to pause the video here. There we go, it's done upgrading. It's going to reboot. So what's going to happen is it's not going to know any of the H3 through 3 settings that it had before. Even though I didn't do a clear, it obviously clears the internal memory. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is go back in, put in the HTTP server, so it'll get the 46XX again. It's interesting that with a SIP, you don't need to do that. program screen so I pretty much have to program this because it's not going to know anything it's going to get stuck on waiting for LLDP forever just like you know a 9600 phone would do if it doesn't know what to do if I go into the menu now with star oh, I'm sorry 8272 yeah I can't even get in the menu I basically need to go into the, the craft menu Give it an HTTP server. So I missed my chance to do the star program. So let me do it now. So I just power cycle the phone. And we have a couple of seconds to enter it. So when it comes up with H323 software and if there's nothing programmed in there before it gets to that stuck LLDP you've got to go right here and hit star 27238 let's go down to address you see there's nothing in here not even an IP address for the phone Put in the utility server. Oh, I gotta go change and why are you peeping at me? Okay, save back exit. Okay, now it'll come up. So now you'll notice the H223 will do the HTTP GET. And you'll see the 46XX file being, let's say, read or collected, absorbed. On SIP, you don't see that. So here we go, we're back there. So now it has the utility server in there, so I don't need to hit program. It's doing a DHCP request. Found the HTTP server. 200 OK from the utility server. It's 
download the certificate. I'm trying to find the call server. And there we go. And I think this one is 41142.